Are you tired of selling all your private data to the cloud and paying a lot of money for large language models like ChatGPT? In this video, we're going to install Ulama, which is the best open source program for running large language models locally on your computer. Now, Ulama itself doesn't come with a graphical user interface, it runs entirely in a terminal. So in order to get a nice graphical user interface, just like in ChatGPT, for example, we're also going to install OpenWeb UI. Now, in this video, we're going to install the complete stack. So we're going to install Ulama, we're going to install Llama 3.2, uh, a large language model itself. We're going to install Docker, and then we're going to install OpenWeb UI. Now make sure to watch this video to the end because at the end of this video I'm going to show you how you can configure this stack so everything is started as soon as you boot your computer. Let's get started right away. So in order to install Olama, we're first going to navigate to olama.com then click here on download. After the file has been downloaded, just run the file in order to start the installation process. And once the installation has been complete, we can start Olama. So press here on the Windows logo, then type CMD in order to start a console. Press enter and then type Olama. And then you get a list with all the commands that you can execute in order to interact with Olama. We have now installed Olama, but we haven't installed a model yet. So I'm going to navigate back to the Olama website, then navigate to models. And then you see here all the models that you can install. And a quite recent model, which performs quite well, is Llama 3.2, which is released by Meta, the, the company behind Facebook. So I'm going to click on Llama 3.2. And this model comes in two sizes. So you have one model variant with 3 billion parameters and one with 1 billion parameters. And of course, the model with 3 billion parameters performs a bit better. So you will also see that this is the default model. And in order to run this model, you just have to copy this comment and paste it in Olama. Um, officially, you also still have to pull this model. But if you run the model and it's not installed, uh, Olama will automatically install it. Just copy it, then navigate back to your console and then press the following comment and then press enter. I will now see that Ulama will start installing the Llama 3.2 model. Once the model is installed, you can send it a message, for example, why is the sky blue? And the model will then start responding to it. Once you're done talking to the model, you can just press slash buy and Ulama will then shut down. And if you want to run the model again, you just press Ulama run Llama 3.2, press enter, and you can start talking to the model again. So you've now installed Ulama and you've also installed a large language model, Llama 3.2. But if you also want to get this nice web interface where we can talk to the model just like we talk with ChatGPT, for example, we also need to install Docker and OpenWeb UI. And we're going to do that in the next step. Now, this is the GitHub page of OpenWeb UI. And if you scroll down, you will see here all the possible ways to install OpenWeb UI. So you can do that with uh, Python with pip. But the way that I recommend is by using Docker. So you can see the Docker commands that we're going to use later in this video. But before running this command first, we of course need to install Docker. So navigate to docker.com and then we're going to click here in order to download the Docker desktop version. I'm going to install the version for AMD64. And after installing Docker, you want to restart Windows. Now your view in Docker should look similar to this. Then we're going to navigate again to the GitHub of OpenWeb UI. And then scroll down until you see uh, installation with default configuration if Olama is on your computer use this command so i'm going to take this command copy it i'm going to open a new terminal press cmd and i'm going to paste the docker command in this terminal press enter now as soon as the installation process of open web ui has been finalized we're going to navigate back to docker and as soon as you finalize the installation of open web ui you should find a new container here in docker you see here the port and if you click here uh, it will bring you to your local host to port 3000. Just click on it. And now you will be landing on your personal instance of OpenWeb UI. Now you need an account in order to use OpenWeb UI. So just log in or sign up. And as soon as you're logged in, you will be redirected to this page. And then here you can select the Llama 3.2 model and you can interact with it. And just as with ChatGPT, you can create new threads here so that you can keep conversations apart from each other. So by default, Docker doesn't start automatically when you start your computer. If you want to change that, you can navigate here to settings and you can enable start Docker desktop when you sign into your computer. Now, as soon as I configured Docker to automatically start every time I boot up my machine, I got a lot of errors and pop-ups. And the only thing that I could do to prevent this was to navigate to user account control settings and then take this bar and put it down entirely. Be aware that this is also changing the security settings of your system. Then press on OK and now Docker and OpenWeb UI will start automatically every time you turn on your computer. Now you can open your browser, navigate to localhost 3000, and you will see here that OpenWeb UI is automatically started. 
It's possible that you have to wait a few seconds before you see any models here. So if you do not see any models here, just refresh your browser and your models should pop up right here. Now in the next video, you will learn how you can automate boring tasks on your computer by combining Olama, Llama 3.2 and Python. So just click on this video and let's get started.